Hi, you are watching Canada View at Voice of Canada and I am Umar Khan. Today we will discuss about the upcoming election regarding the uh, Park Extension District of Montreal. And uh, today we have a guest uh, through a live link, uh, Ms. Uh, Mary De Rose. Uh, she is a municipal politician in Montreal, Quebec and uh, representing Park Extension since 1998. Uh, first of all, I am really thankful for your precious time for Voice of Canada. Uh, Ms. Barry, you are a municipal politician in Montreal, Quebec and representing Park Extension on Montreal City Council since 1998. So I would like to know what is the reason of your successful leadership since 1998? Enjoy working with people very much. And I have been living in Park Extension uh, for many years. I got married here. I brought up my three children. And when I was uh, growing up and bringing up my own family, we did not have the services that we now offer our citizens in Park X. We didn't have a library. We did not have a swimming pool. Our parks were in terrible condition. But I am very proud to say that since I have been elected in 1998, uh, we now have a beautiful, full, big library with books in 13 languages, including Urdu. So a family, a grandfather can come with his grandchild. Grandchild will go and take books in French, work on the computer, and the grandfather can read a book in Urdu in the same library. We also have the only cricket batting cage in Park Extension. Nowhere else in Quebec do they have a, a, a batting cage only in Park X because we have a very large South Asian community in Park X. And I know that a lot of the young people like to play cricket. And so we have two cricket fields in Park X and also the cricket batting cages. Um, I have tried very hard to make Park X uh, a clean and safe environment with the uh, civil uh, services to our citizens so that they can feel comfortable living in Park X. And more and more young families are coming to live here because of the services that we have been able to offer them. Uh, all our parks have been redone so that the children can play in a safe environment. So um, I have been very, uh, you know, Park X has, is a very diverse community. We have a hundred, 15 different cultural communities living in Park X, and we do so in peace and harmony. And uh, I'm very proud of my accomplishments, and I have been very close to the Pakistani community. I hope that once again they will come out and vote in support of me so I can continue to serve them for the next four years. Ms. Mary, people of Montreal are very happy with you, especially different communities and Pakistani community also. What is your next plan for the people of Montreal? Well, we have problems with the environment. We plan to plant a lot of more trees because of the climate warming. We need trees and greenery to be able to give us oxygen and uh, comfort from uh, the sun's rays. So this is uh, a promise that we said we will plant more trees. We will also have more inspectors to make sure that the housing in Park X will be adequate to go and make sure that the owners of buildings take good care of their uh, houses, of the apartments, so that our citizens who rent will have comfortable and affordable housing for themselves. Uh, we will continue to serve the needs. We will be at, you know, uh, we will have more meetings to listen to the people, to have the citizens come and talk to us and let us know what their needs are so that we can offer the proper services to meet the demand. So there will be more open doors, more open meetings, so that people can uh, feel comfortable with the municipal government. Uh, in my office, my door has always been open, and maybe that is one of my success all these years, 
that whenever the citizens come to my office with or without an appointment, I always make time for them and I listen to their needs and I, I always meet the demand. I, I ask the services to follow up and make sure that our citizens are properly taken care of. Can you please tell me for our viewers, uh, how many remarkable things, projects and initiatives have you done in park extensions uh, during your tango? Absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, at the corner of Ball and Jeroche, uh, I opened up the, um, the fence that separates Park X from Jarry Park, and we made a beautiful uh, pedestrian crossing with all the safety elements to alert them if a train is coming so that they do not cross at the time. And we've uh, renewed all our parks, made them sure that they were safe. We added water games. I added water games in three of our parks so that on hot days, the children can go and play with the water. We now have an indoor swimming pool. And one thing that I did based on the requests from the women, the uh, women uh, who practice, who are Muslim came to see me and said, Mary, we need at least one to two hours just for the women and our children to go swim with no men. And I have given that to them. Uh, before, prior to that, there was another swimming pool uh, in Villaray that they were charging 1,500 per hour. I give it to them for free because I know as citizens, they also need to receive services from the city free of charge. So I have two hours a week for the women to go and do swimming lessons or just to swim and have a good time with their children. Um, we fixed our streets. Jerry, that used to be a street um, uh, with uh, four lanes of cars, no trees. We enlarged the sidewalks to plant trees on both sides. And also it gives a chance to the grocery stores to put their, uh, their uh, vegetables and fruits out on the sidewalk. It's a lot easier for the citizens uh, to come and pick up the food that they want and they pay and they, they go. So we facilitated the, uh, the stores in having their fruits and vegetables on display outside in front of their stores. Um, having fixed all our parks, we continue to do the road work. Uh, right now we are uh, redeveloping uh, Duroche Street with all the underground infrastructure and uh, the new sidewalk so that people can be safe. Um, we've added, um, they call them sleeping policemen. Uh, you know, it's like a, in French, we call it a dodan. Uh, these are uh, around the schools and around the parks. Uh, we put in these uh, installments so that the cars will go slower to, for the safety and for the families of the, and the children uh, so that the cars do not speed in front of the parks and the schools. So, you know, the security is very important. Uh, we, Park X is only 2.2 square kilometers and we have 35,000 people living here. So it's very densely populated. And so we need to make sure to assure that the cars go slower in the school zones and also around the parks. We don't wanna have any statistics of a car hitting a pedestrian, a child, or an elderly person. As we know, you are again contesting uh, this year the election. So have you done your preparation for coming election? Uh, I, so far, it looks like I'm the only candidate that has an office, an electoral office. My office is at 752 Liege West at the corner of Champagneur. And uh, people come in, they ask for directions, they ask how to vote. Uh, we have volunteers coming in from different communities. Uh, I have people from Pakistan, people from Sri Lanka, uh, India, uh, Greek, uh, French, Latinos, 
uh, they come to the office and they start making phone calls to encourage people to go and vote. I have been doing door to door with my volunteers. We are in preparation. And uh, because of COVID, the uh, president of the elections has given us four days to go and vote. They can go vote this weekend, the 30th and 31st of October, and also the following weekend, 6th and 7th November. So, so that people don't feel they are in a big crowd, we have this facility for them to go and vote on four different days. And I hope that they will take advantage of it and go and vote this weekend while others will go next weekend. Ms. Mary De Rose, uh, I studied your political history career. Uh, what was the reason to change the political parties? Because you were in Vision Montreal since 1998 to 2007, but you joined Union Montreal from 2007 to 2012. And then you elected uh, as an independent Canadian, uh, an independent uh, uh, candidate since 2012 to 2013. Uh, now you are in uh, AK Dennis uh, career from 2013 and presently you are representing this party. So I want to know what was the reason behind it to change these political parties in your career? You know, I was with Mr. Bourke from 98 until 2008 with Vision Montreal. When Mr. Bourke left politics, I found that the party was not in the same uh, beliefs with cultural communities. And I have very strong ties with the cultural communities. And so at that time, it was Mr. Tremblay, who was the mayor of Montreal. Uh, and his brother, Marcel Tremblay, was responsible for cultural communities. And everywhere that I went, he was there too. And he kept saying, Mary, come with me. Together, we will work to support and help the cultural communities of Montreal. And so I made that choice because I felt more comfortable to work for the cultural communities with Marcel Tremblay as opposed to Vision Montreal. Had Mr. Burke stayed on, I would have stayed on. But once he left the party, the party changed. And it wasn't to my liking nor my comfort. So when I changed and I went to Mr. Tremblay, uh, I and Marcel Tremblay, we were responsible for working with the cultural communities. And I continued doing so very well. Uh, then when Mr. Tremblay left politics, I uh, simply uh, was independent. And when Mr. Coderre came into the picture in 2013, uh, all I can say is that when he was Minister of Sports, I was responsible for sports on the Executive Committee of the City of Montreal, and we worked together, he at the federal level and myself at the municipal level for sports. Then he became Minister of Immigration, and as I was responsible for cultural communities, we worked together for many issues. So when he decided to come and uh, be the mayor of Montreal, it was an easy transition for me to work with a man that I had been working with since two, uh, 1998. So uh, we've been working ever since. And so I'm still with the same party. I have not changed. And Mr. Coderre is back with this campaign uh he uh is working with many good platforms for social housing for safety for the security of montreal for making montreal clean again because in this administration of projet montreal they have not taken care of keeping montreal clean at all and everywhere you go you see graffiti you see garbage it's not being well taken care of. At the same time, uh, because of my loyalty and knowing how Mr. Coderre works, uh, my main concern is also for social housing. And we will be working with social housing to create affordable housing for citizens. Right now, the present mayor has bought buildings 
but she has not created social housing. So we're saying it's fine to continue to buy buildings, but when are you going to create the social housing so people can have adequate and affordable housing now, not 10 years from now? And so I believe in Mr. Coderre. I believe that he will work very well for the betterment of Montreal. And I hope that all the communities will come out and vote. In the last election, 30% of the people from Park X came out to vote. 70% of them stayed home. I hope that the work that I have been doing all these years for all the communities encourage them to go and vote, please. Go vote this weekend, 30, 31st of October. Go vote also. If you can't go this weekend, please go vote November 6 and 7 or 7. It's very important. You know, in countries around the world, people manifest for their right to vote. It is so important. I don't understand why in Montreal, uh, they stayed home in the last election. It is so important if we're to improve Montreal for a better society for all communities, inclusive of all communities, it must be important for everybody to go and vote. Vote for Denis Coderre, for mayor of Montreal. Guillaume Lavoie, for mayor of the borough of Villeray Saint Michel Park Extension, and for myself, Mary Darrows, as city councillor, to continue to serve my communities of Park X, all of my communities. Ms. Mary, uh, we know pandemic and COVID 19 really disturbed all these situations. How did you manage your services during COVID pandemic? Over 6,000 people have my cell phone number. Or if they call the office, I would be able to see them. Some people who needed to see me, I would invite them in front of my garage at a distance. They would tell me their problems. I would write it down and I would send it to the directors to take care of. Um, we had a lot of Zoom meetings. This is my home office. And uh, as we are speaking, uh, with uh, what's up with the technology of today. Uh, I, we did the same thing in Montreal. Our meetings were with uh, Zoom meetings. Uh, we uh, did not have, uh, didn't actually meet. So for a year and a half now, uh, almost two years, we have been working via the computers and I have my laptop, I have my personal computer and an iPad because it's a paperless society. So I needed the iPad to look for the documents. I needed my uh, laptop to go on to the uh, live Zoom meetings. And of course, my telephone to text messages to the different services so that we can get the job done. Uh, because of certain uh, difficulties with communications, sometimes it took a little longer to uh, get the services for the citizens, but uh, I'm very happy and proud of our employees in the Villeray Saint Michel Park Extension Borough because they worked under hard and difficult conditions and they delivered the services to our people. Very proud of them. In last year, I would like you to deliver a message for your well wishers, your supporters regarding your election. Uh, to all the employees, I want to say a um, heartfelt welcome, a heartfelt thanks, because they worked under difficult conditions during COVID, and we managed to provide the day-to-day -day services to our citizens. To our citizens in Park Extension and all over Montreal, uh, I want to thank them for listening to the directives of the uh, Minister of Health, uh, for going and getting their uh, vaccinations, which makes us a lot safer. But we still have to wear our masks. We still have to protect ourselves because there are children who go to school. They come home. There's grandparents. There's parents. We need to continue to protect ourselves and wash our hands as often as possible. 
to the people of Park X, I have been dedicated in serving the communities since 1998. Before 1998, I was also a volunteer with Park Extension Youth Organization and our local soccer association on the board of directors, making sure that sports and services were adequately given to our uh, citizens. Now, even though I am not uh, a volunteer, I still volunteer and I celebrate civil marriages in the borough and the money that we collect from these marriages go into a special account. At the end of four years, I distribute that money to different community groups in Park X that deal with youth. And this year, I gave 17,000 to Sinclair Laird because they're going to redo their schoolyard to include a mini soccer field and an outdoor classroom. I distributed $5,000 to Panelino Soccer Association because they're also developing soccer with the young girls. Uh, and they have now, uh, they, they're the only soccer association in Villery, Saint-Michel and Park Extension because they all merge together. And so, uh, and recently I gave the last thousand dollars to PYO for their Halloween party that will take place this weekend. Um, so I do that as a volunteer to marry people. I celebrate marriages. I have a certificate to do so. And the money that I collect goes back to the community groups to help young people, the youth, which is my passion. I feel it is our responsibility to be able to give the young people every opportunity for them to be the best that they can be. We need to continue to encourage them. Um, my last message for all the people who are listening in, please go and vote. It is so important. Exercise this fundamental right to choose who you want to represent your voice at City Hall. I have been doing it for the last 23 years, and I do it with great pride that you have chosen me to continue to do so. Please go and vote. Every vote counts. Show the city that the Pakistani community is strong in the fundamental democratic rights. Go and vote in great numbers so that next time when I ask for something for Park X, the city will say, aha, uh -huh, people in Park X care. They went to vote. Their voices must be heard. And so I'll be able to do more things for Park X. Thank you, Mary D. Rose, for your precious time for Voice of Canada.